Alarm clocks can be hard to use, and this one is supposed to be easier. We'll pull it out and see how easy it works. And it does plug into the wall. Plug in the power supply at the bottom here, but boy, it looks like it's the same size as that hole. I wonder what would happen if we accidentally had it in there. It does have a battery backup feature as well. It looks like these are triple A's. We'll plug it in. That is a nice large display. It's larger than most. I wanna go ahead and try to set this without looking at the instructions and just see how easy is it. Just looking at the little graphics on the buttons, this looks like lower volume and higher volume. This says time set, and that looks like a little picture of a transistor radio. Here's alarm one and two. And there's a nice big snooze button because everybody likes the snooze button, but I do know from the ad that this button rotates, so I'll see if I can figure out how to do this. I'll push the radio button and see if it starts playing. Okay, there's some static, and these should bring the volume up or down. And since there are no other knobs, I'm gonna guess we can tune it with this one. I'm noticing as I change, as I turn the knob up here, there's an FM station readout down here. Now, it works if I'm holding the antenna. I guess we have pretty bad reception here. We're gonna to try to set the time next. We'll hit time set. Maybe try this knob again. So apparently you have to hold this time set button down while you spin the knob. And it's changing the hours, you can see. We set the hour, now we'll hit time set again and turn. Nope, that's not doing it. Unfortunately, it's not as intuitive as we were hoping, and I am going to have to read the instructions. All right, I think I have it figured out here. You have to hold down the time set button for three seconds, and then the hours start flashing. Now you can rotate to where you want it to be, but you do have to hit time set again, like an enter button, to confirm that's what you want. Now the minutes are flashing. We'll set it to there and confirm that is what we want now what's flashing on the screen the date okay we could change the date we're going to leave it on monday and hit time set to confirm that so i was hoping it would be easier but this is what it is i still think this is easier than other alarms we've had because all the buttons that you use every day or most frequently are right on top and that is handy and so is this dial so you don't have to hold two buttons at once in order to uh, change your time or change your alarm this is much easier uh, there are other options that are kind of cool too I'm not sure how much we'll use them but it's pretty slick that you can have two different alarms one for weekday Monday through Friday and one for Saturday and Sunday only. If you wanted to set uh, an alarm differently for different days of the week, there you go. We'll set alarm number one by clicking alarm one so that now it doesn't say off. It gives us a time. To set the time, hold down three seconds on alarm one, change the hours, and confirm with alarm one. Confirm the minutes, and now it's showing us an example of the alarm. We could change the volume at this point, but we like it the way it is, so confirm. Now we'll set alarm number two. We'll alarm number two now. Press to turn on. Hold for three seconds. So now the seven is flashing. I want it to, I'm gonna confirm seven o'clock. Now the minutes are flashing. We're gonna change it to 7.30 by using the dial. And Confirm. Confirm that too. Alarm one and two are now pre-programmed. So depending on the day, I could just turn on alarm one because I wanna get up at 8 a.m. It was not as intuitive as we hoped. We did have to use the instructions, but once we had set up the time and the alarms so that it's ready to go, the operational buttons for daily use on top are really very simple. We'll put all three batteries in and unplug it to check if the battery backup system works. Here we go. 
and we still have the display so that's great we still have all of our alarm presets in there we're not going to lose that just because of a uh, power blip